Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 1. So I've had my MacBook for a little over a month now and I'm loving it, but setting it up on my desk was a bit tricky. At first, I connected my MacBook to my monitor with a HDMI cable and used the MagSafe charger for power. But since I use external hard drives a lot, things got complicated. My main external SSD has USB type C ports, so I can plug it in directly to my MacBook, which is great but all my other USBs and external hard drives have USB type A ports. So I needed an adapter to connect them. The problem is the adapter is too wide and blocks the other USB-C ports. So I couldn't plug two external hard drives in at the same time. I made it work, but it wasn't ideal. So when Ivanki asked if I wanted to try out their Fusion Dock Max 1, I was excited to give it a go. So let's take a look and see what you get inside the box. Inside you get the dock, a setup guide, anti-skid pads, cable management tires, a user manual, a power adapter, an AC power cord, an 8K HDMI cable, and a 40 gigabit dual USB-C cable. The Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 1 is designed for Apple Silicon MacBooks, which includes the M1, M2, and M3 series. It's the only dock on the market with dual Thunderbolt 4 chips, which allows for faster data transfer, more device connections, and improved performance for your MacBook. This dock can support up to four 6K monitors, which is perfect for power users who need high resolution visuals. It has a 40 gigabit per second transfer rate, which is great for transferring files from my SD card or my external hard drive. It also offers 96 watts of charging, allowing me to charge my MacBook and my phone at the same time. I also charge things like my camera and lights, so having a dock on my desk that can handle charging multiple devices is really helpful. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the dock. So the dock is made from, I'm pretty sure, an aluminium. It's um, got a bit of weight to it and um, I feel like it's really well made. You can see here they've put like a nice gap for air ventilation to keep it cooler. So you can have it standing up like this on your desk or you can have it laying down so it doesn't matter which way you put it and you shouldn't get overheating. You also get the rubber pads that you can stick on the bottom um, so it's more stable on your desk and doesn't scratch your desk up as well. So we'll take a look at the front first. So you can see here on the front, we have two USB type C ports, and these ones are two of the ones that you can plug your 6K monitors in. And then there's another two on the back, which I'll show you in a minute. So you can use these USB-C ports for your display or anything really. They're 40 gigabit and 15 watts, both of these. And then over here we have USB type A and these ones are 10 gigabit. Down here we have two more 10 gigabit USB type C. And then this one here has power delivery, which is 30 watts. So I'm guessing this one is probably just a 15 watt for power. This one here is what I usually charge my phone off of because it charges it really fast. And then over this side, you have a spot where you can plug some headphones in. You have a micro SD card slot and a standard SD card slot. Then if we come around to the back over here, you can see this is if you want to put a lock on it. So you can actually buy locks that clip onto desks and then clip into the dock. So sometimes companies use these when they put docks on desks in the office so the docks don't go missing and then this is where your power goes into the dock this is where you plug in the power to your laptop so so you get this cable here so these two usb c ports will be plugged into this part that says laptop and then this dual adapter gets plugged into the side of your laptop here are the other two 6k monitor ports but you can also just use them to plug anything in they are also 40 gigabits and 15 watts and then you have two 4k hdmi ports so if you just want to plug your monitor in via HDMI, you can do that. For my monitor, I use HDMI. Then you have another USB type A, and then you have 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. You have an optical port if you want to plug in any speakers via an optical. And then you have two more USB type A ports, and then you have also a 3.5 line out port for audio. So this has heaps of ports, which is really great, and they do definitely come in handy. And I love how this is gonna future-proof any of my future setups. Currently, I don't have a 4K monitor, but in the future, I would love to get two 4K monitors, and I know 
this is going to handle it with no problems. Overall, I've really been loving using the Fusion Dock Max One, but I did just want to mention one issue I had with the dock. When my MacBook and monitor were plugged in and the MacBook went into sleep mode, the screens would sometimes turn on and off randomly. Sometimes it was the MacBook screen and other times it was the monitor. Thankfully, this was an easy fix by a firmware update from the iBanky website. After installing the firmware update and rebooting, the issue was gone. With that minor issue resolved, the dock has been fantastic. It just feels like an extension of my MacBook. Everything has been working really well, making my desk setup much more efficient. And having all of those ports within arm's reach has really made a big difference in my productivity. If you're looking for a great dock for your MacBook, I can highly recommend the Fusion Dock Max One. I've only been using it for just over a week, but it has quickly become something I rely on every day for my work setup. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.